This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. Welcome back. It's Tuesday, which means Samantha Crowley is headed to the kitchen with Chef Gordon at Indian Hills Community College. But today they're not cooking anything. Instead, she's putting her knife cutting skills to the test. Let's see how she does. Good morning, Samantha. Thanks, Ellen. Good morning, Heartland. I'm in Iowa this morning at the Indian Hills Community College Test Kitchen with Chef Gordon, and we have a student here. So can you go ahead and introduce him for us? You bet. I like to show off what we've got. We've got some really great students this year, and Tim Harmon's one of them. And uh, I don't know, you can talk to him a little bit and talk about what you're going to do this morning, huh? Perfect. Well, thank you. What a nice introduction there. I, I'm flattered. He's a great teacher, and I'm you know, just happy to be part of this program and help moving things along. Now, you are first term here. How is that going? Um, it's actually going really well. Uh, I've got a little bit of industry experience under my belt, but it's really nice to actually have like this professional training and actually get to see how you know real chefs do things as opposed to all my time before where I was just kind of making things up as I went along. So it's really great to actually be a part of this program. And this is a great program. Now where are you from? Are you in the area? Um, I am originally from Fort Madison, but over the last few years I've been all over Iowa, so um, Fort Madison's my home. So what about this program really drove you and brought you here? Um, really I've heard a lot of really good things about the program. Um, it's been on top 20 list for culinary programs within the uh, United States, uh, and it's, you know, was close to where I was living at the time, so it wasn't that much of a move, and really just, I mean, as far as cost and quality, like, it wasn't really much of a competition for the other places around, so. And they have great vacations, too. Oh, do they? They, they go to Spain. Oh, they do. I've been looking so forward to So you have to, to stick around yeah. a little bit and make sure you I'll stick around them. at least long enough for Spain. Yeah, that's fine. So tell me a little bit about, you know, what you're learning right now in the class. Um, well, right now you got to start with your basics. So we've uh, mostly been working on knife skills, making sure that nobody's losing fingers because that's an important thing when you're cooking. You don't want to be serving up fingers. Right. Um, so really, you know, you got to work on building that strong, uh, you know, basic skills. Um, so that's what we've been doing. That's what we're going to focus on today. We're going to show you some of the basic knife cuts for vegetables. Perfect. Well, very excited for that. And we'll, we'll kind of dabble with the knife cutting skills when we come back. Sound yep. good? That sounds great. All right. For now, Good Morning Heartland will continue right after this. And welcome back. As you know, Samantha Croy has been busy all morning long in the kitchen at Indian Hills Community College, but she's not busy cooking. Instead, she's busy learning how to properly cut food with different knives. Hey, Samantha. Thanks, Ella. If you're just joining us, I'm at the Test Kitchen here at Indian Hills Community College with Tim Harmon, who is one of the first-term students here in the Culinary Arts Program. And we're going to learn some techniques that you're learning in the class right now. Yep. All right, so uh, we're going to start off with just some basic knife cuts, uh, focusing on onions and carrots, because every cook needs to know how to cut onions and carrots. Right. So you start off by just removing the very tip of the stem. You don't want to cut too deep, otherwise, when you're trying to dice it, it's going to start falling apart on you. Okay. And you can cut a little bit bigger chunk off here. Off the other side. Now, is there a way to cut onions without crying? Um, practice, really. Um, yeah. The more you do it, the less it starts to affect you. Um, so I usually, you want to just do little cuts, but you don't want to go all the way through. Um, I was told usually about two thirds. I usually go a little bit deeper than that just to get a little bit more off the onion. Okay. Now, I noticed that you're using the tip of the knife. Is that easier than using the middle? Well, um, mostly I'm using the tip for these cuts because if I use the middle, I'm going to go all the way through the onion. Um, usually I, when I'm cutting, I try to cut more with the heel of the knife because you're going to get more control. You can okay. get better pressure there. Um, so since I'm not doing too fine of a cut with the onion, from there I just go. Look at that. And you don't have to worry about the onion falling apart on you. And they're pretty small too, so you don't have to worry about getting big chunks. Nope. Now, if you wanted to do a finer cut, in addition to crop cutting this way, you would be able to cut this way, and that's going to give you a lot finer of dice. Okay. So. Wonderful. And now we have the carrots here. Are these kind of your most common vegetables that yep. you craft? Um, carrots, onions, and celery are uh, aromatic vegetables, so you're going to use them in a lot of like stews to give just kind of a little bit more flavor and scent to it. Okay. Um, Cutting carrots, this is actually something that I learned because whenever I cut carrots in the past, I always cut over the trash can. Right. You're sending carrot shavings all over the place, of and course. it's really a lot of work. <laughs> actually, um, I found that if you just put the stem of the carrot down like this. Oh, my goodness. 
You can shave the carrot pretty quickly this way. I wonder if that works with potatoes. Uh, probably not so well with potatoes because you're going to have a lot smaller surface. Okay. I, I haven't tried it with potatoes, so that's something Look I'm going to have that. to try. So just clean up the ends a little bit. So this is pretty much just a clean. I mean, you could probably continue on this if you want those little shavings, but. Yeah, usually the shavings, you're just going to end up tossing okay. or, okay. I mean, you might use them in a stock or something like that, but. All right. So take the ends off the, the ends carrots. Off. Okay. Those also can be used later for. And then from here, what we want to do, you just. You wrap it up on the sides. Yep. Look at that. It's going to give you a lot easier time cutting. And then. And then you go from the, like the, it's a little square yeah, rectangle. Yep. It's okay. going to be a lot easier for you to work with when you're doing the different cuts for it. All yep. right. Well, thank you so much. And uh, welcome to the program. And thank I wish you, very you the much. best of luck. All right, Ella, we'll send it back to you.